Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and Happy New Year. First, I wish everyone to have a wonderful, productive and healthy year ahead. Now, if you remember my previous videos on Novavax, you may remember I mentioned the company planned to submit their emergency use authorization application to the US FDA by the end of 2021. So have they done it? Are we going to get a new type of COVID-19 vaccine in 2022? Let's find out. According to the press release from Novavax that was released late Friday afternoon on December 31st, 2021, the New Year's Eve, the company has finally submitted the final data package to the US FDA. This is the final data requirement for EUA application of their protein-based COVID-19 vaccine. So technically, Novavax still has not submitted its formal EUA application. Now, still according to the US FDA EUA guideline, they would have to submit their formal application within one month of their data package submission. So Novavax just partly kept their words before 2021 ended. Now the biggest question is that if their vaccine will be too late or just at the right timing. Let's look at a few top points. Number one, how does the Novavax vaccine work against the Omicron variant? Now, much of the data at this point is only from their company press release and a preprint study they posted on December 25th. On December 22nd, they released a press statement saying their original version of the vaccine still works against the Omicron. And similar to other vaccine developers, Novavax did an antibody titer experiment and showed two doses of the primary series had cross-reactivity against the Omicron, but it was fourfold less than the original strain. After adding a third dose six months after the second dose, the anti-spike protein IgG antibody level increased 5.4-fold against the original strain and 9.3-fold against the Omicron. These data suggested that even though the Novavax vaccine was designed with the original spike protein, the antibody response is still good against the Omicron. Now, however, Novavax did not tell us anything regarding T-cell immunity in their study. And in terms of the booster side effects, Novavax said it was infrequent and was balanced between the vaccine and the placebo group. Now, on a separate note, the company also said they are on track with an Omicron-specific vaccine and plan to start manufacturing in early January. So the chances are that you may have already gotten your primary series mRNA vaccine or AstraZeneca vaccine or Johnson Johnson vaccine. Now, if you would like to use Novavax as a booster, what could you expect from mixing in with those vaccines? Now, in UK, a blind multi-center randomized control phase 2 trial was published in early December and told us a little bit about how Novavax mixed in with either the AstraZeneca vaccine or the Pfizer-BNT vaccine as a booster. The study had a total of 2,883 participants randomly assigned into different groups. And at the end of the trial for analysis, 96 participants had the AstraZeneca primary series and a full dose of Novavax. 97 participants had the AZ primary series and half dose of the Novavax. 103 participants had the Pfizer-BNT primary series and a full dose of Novavax. And lastly, 99 had the Pfizer-BNT primary series and half dose of the Novavax. There were a lot of data presented in the study, and I'm just taking the most relevant information for this presentation. Now, in summary, both full dose and half dose Novavax boosters significantly increased the antibody levels after either the AstraZeneca or the BNT primary series. And in terms of T cell responses, Half those Novavax did not boost a significant cellular response compared to control in people who had the BNT primary series. That should not be a real problem in practice because the Novavax vaccine would be given in full dose. 
In terms of side effects, the Novavax booster did not have significantly more reaction than another booster vaccine. And if you look at the graph on the right hand side, the green dot is the AstraZeneca vaccine as a booster mixed into the Pfizer BNT. Actually, that has more reaction than the Novavax vaccine at both the full dose and the half dose. Even though this study was very thorough, it is not without limitations. Now, one of the big limitations is that only measures the antibody and cellular responses for up to 28 days. And we now know even the booster shot of the same brand shows waning in two to three months. And currently, we do not know if mixing a different booster can produce a longer lasting protection against infection. Now, the University of Oxford also has an ongoing mixing COVID-19 vaccine study called uh, COMCOV2. Now, I have the link in the description box below, so my interested UK viewers can check that out. Now, it comes to the third talk point. How about adolescents? Novavax has enrolled 3,012 to 17-year-old in North America to study the safety and efficacy of its protein-based COVID-19 vaccine. There isn't much news on the result other than the press release saying the two-dose series showed robust antibody responses in adolescents and the level of IgG induced was two to four-fold higher than adults against all evaluated variants that including the Omicron variant. And lastly, what is my overall assessment of the Novavax protein-based COVID-19 vaccine's prospect in 2022? Before I start my assessment, I need to declare that I have no financial interest in Novavax, and this is a pure scientific assessment. First, I don't think the Novavax is too late to be in the market, because even after the Omicron wave, we still don't have any vaccine showing solid data of significantly cutting transmission. And Unfortunately, in the U.S., COVID cases are not very likely to go down to less than 1,000 cases a day in the next few months or so. But it is unlikely that the two-dose series is enough for full protection. So I hope the company has included robust data of their third shot in their FDA data submission package. And I think the FDA expert panel will debate if the EUA should be a two-dose series or a three-dose series, in which the third dose is six months after the second dose. Also, there will be a closer look at the side effect during their discussion at that time. And the CDC expert panel will need to weigh in on recommending mixing Novavax as the booster shot for people who had received other vaccine as their primary series. And that's all for this week. And again, I wish everyone a great new year ahead. And let's all hope COVID-19 will become a lesser part of our daily lives in 2022. And I will see you in my next video. Meanwhile, please stay safe, healthy, and please take care. Bye.